Always technical. I'm smoking Jim Frazier. Miss China Rock. Um, I'm ready to go. Lightning strikes and green tree. Let's, <laughs> let's see. Let's see how it goes down. Lightning strikes in green tree. Professional boxing card with a main event and eight rounder featuring your own Pittsburgh's lightning rod Salka. This event, ladies and gentlemen, is under the jurisdiction and supervision of the Pennsylvania State Athletic Committee. We got Taylor on the cam. He's catching all of the action. I am so excited. Michael Moore is in Rob Falka's corner. He's with me. This is exciting. I am man back here tonight, so thank you. Let's welcome Joseph Larrieta! Larrieta! Oh, Andy, no, it's all here. And coming out of the world of 1313 by Larry Dombrath, let's welcome Lightning Rock Sokka! Lightning Rod, he is not only the headliner tonight, he is also the promoter of this prestigious event here tonight. Wonderful setup, Rod. So proud of you. It looks good in here. All the supporters have come out. It couldn't get, it can't get any better than this. Still the baddest man in that ring is Michael Moore. Actually, only one loss, and he may get in the MMA. That would be a hell of a transition. Okay. It's Laurier, he looks like he's coming in for blood tonight. He got his twisties going on. Yes. We don't have an African American in the ring. We have an African African in the ring tonight. Like he in shape too. Definitely. Rod looking confident. Oh, good body. And Rod came right back, counter punching. This is intense. But you know Rod is always going to put on a good show. He comes to fight, and that is exactly what he does. And, and Rod is a movie way of understanding, too. Got oh, beautiful oh, money. That's good news. Look at all the people that come out to, uh, to see Rod. Rod's got good hit for business. He's a promoter. Um, he got a vision for this box. And he's very personable. You know, we have the pleasure of knowing Rod personally. Yeah. And he's just a good man. He has a good heart. And you can see why he's so successful in everything he does. And he fought for our country. He fought for our country. He's in the Air Force, right? Yes. What's the stitching that he has on in the back of his trunks? Rod. I see Everlast on his shoes, but I don't know. 
Latitude is on the back of his trunk. Look at it. Look at it. When you interview Latitude you 40. And now I'm wondering if it has something to do with his Air Force background. Maybe talk about Tom Cruise fan. Always so much electricity and so much energy when Rod gets in that ring. And he, he's not scared to fight anyone. He loves competition. Rod comes to fight. They're both being very strategic, which I can appreciate. Maybe MMA is starting early. This, this African fighter, Laurier, is definitely from the fight. Not by Salta. But it didn't seem to phase our African fighter in here tonight. Both guys are in phenomenal shape. Phenomenal shape. And they're both counter-punching. They are fighting. Nice right by Salta. It appears that they're using this first ring to try to figure each other out what their best entrance and exit is. I didn't notice the, the lights in, in the corners when it's seven foot down the Very good first round. Can you imagine how much more is to come? Do you have any predictions for this fight, Smoking Jim? Um, I, think it, I think it may go the distance. Uh, both guys are in shape. I think that uh, Rod, Lightning Rod Salka will pitch a shutout. Yeah, a fighter, but He's a, um, he, he really is a guy that goes through all his progressions. He knows exactly what he wants to do. He breaks down the guy's body, throws up a lot of combinations. In his corner. Sure enough. And you know that means he can only get better. <laughs> Look at this place, you know, this to be able to um, to have a fight at a venue like this, to rent out a, a, a place like this, um, you, you know you have to have a, a great head for business, a nice overhand right. There goes Rod with that lightning combination, two to the body, one to the head. But the brother from Ghana never takes a step back, he keeps coming. Yeah, he's a charge forward fighter, most definitely. And he doesn't do too many, he doesn't do too much dancing around. Saves that for the music. He's coming forward. I always wanted to visit West Africa. But it's nice to know, it just goes to show you that boxing is a worldwide sport loved by people all around the world. It sure is, and that's why MMA are never surpassed. It's a nice, nice combination. He hurt me. Oh yeah, he moved right through him, but you can definitely see that that yeah. opened him up. Yeah, and he realizes that him. he can't be too comfortable in here. You know, when lightning strikes. <laughs> see, when you're dealing with lightning, Rod Salka, that lightning is bound to strike twice in the same place. So be careful. <laughs> Nobody's going to outwork you. Strong. And look at look where his eyes, look where his eyes is focused. Oh, his eyes is focused on the guy's chest. Yep. The guard is focused. He knows exactly what he wants to do. Keeps his chin tucked. Yes, he does. His grill is tight. And you can just see Rod Tolka computing when he's in that ring. He is technically analyzing everything he does. He thinks on his feet. Yeah, he really does. Laurier came back with a nice combination. These guys still nice body shots. And they keep it coming. And neither one of them look like they're going to be getting tired anytime soon. And don't forget, this was supposed to be a title shot, a title fight, but. Uh, it's but not a title fight tonight? No, they. Uh, it's not when they suspended the title. Um, both fighters came in uh, a little bit over the uh, 138 limit, 138. Now, 
Rod has brought himself back down from the last fight that he was in last year in November on Rayco Saunders' promotion at the club. He had gone up a, a class to about 145. It was a slip and a fall. It looked like he might have twisted his right ankle. He four over here in the corner, and it looks like he's really given some intense training tips to Salt. And, and you can tell he's experienced. First thing he did was pull Salka's legs towards him so that he, his legs can uh, rest a little bit, um, let his muscles lengthen out a bit. Michael Moore is down on his knees, really, and Salka's paying attention to everything. Every single word, but if you had Michael Moore in your corner, hanging you, you would listen to yeah, every single word. <laughs> They're both, they're both very good fighters, but Rod is definitely coming in with more action. Yeah, Rod's in a, a, a whole nother class level. I don't see him losing a, a single round today. So Laurier, he has 14 wins, 11 knockouts, 6 losses. That's a lot of power. It is a lot of power. That is a lot of power. So Rod got to be careful. So it's possible that this, this African fighter in here today could be a knockout artist and yeah. just waits for the perfect time to go in for the kill. Yeah. But here's the thing, a lot of times when you have those fighters that want to sit back and wait for the perfect opportunity, they end up with another. <laughs> Good call. You have to get in there and have your business. <laughs> Good call. And even if they don't get knocked out, they could end up losing. You know, just because they weren't fighting. And it's hard to knock out a, a fighter like Rod Salkin. Not only does he got great reflexes, but he keeps his chin tucked down. And um, see, look at him. I mean, it's just amazing. His chin is tucked down into his pectoral. And you're not going to knock a guy out like that. You see a lot of fighters raise their, their, uh, their neck and their chin. And, uh, and that's where you get knocked out at the easiest. Rod's light on his feet. He's comfortable in there, in and out, in and out. They're both very, very confident in the night. I'm impressed. It's a chess match. Definitely a chess match. And that is boxing, my friend. Yes, it is. That's why at one time it was the number one sport in the country, and it, uh, I believe it can be that again. I absolutely do. And just like we had our interview with Michael Moore tonight, and I asked him how he felt about the feds coming in to regulate after the Pacquiao Bradley decision. So I was impressed to hear that Mr. Moore thought that it was just about time for that to happen. It's time to bring some honor back to the sport. I think it's been lost. <laughs> Money and power monopolize the sport of boxing anymore. <laughs> Excellent fight. Ernie Sharif in there getting the workout. Veteran referee always on it. If Julius Long would have had the bounce in his legs at uh, Ernie Sharif's head. Could have been a different fight. Oh, Akra! Laurie right comes in to capitalize on Rod slipping. Ernie Sharif didn't take that. He did not I wonder, let. I wonder what happened because Salka had a. Salka slipped. There's a lot of water over there in the in our field. Salka come back with a nice right hand. He should have. Laria definitely tried to capitalize on Salka slipping over there. Just a winner. Yeah, he slipped backwards. Laria jumped right in on it. Definitely. Now Rod, Rod is going to make sure that he stays away from that corner. Lightning Rod Salka. Thank <laughs> you. 
These guys are going like Energizer bunnies. They're they not sure slowing down. I mean, wow. Nice combination. You're talking about two superior conditioned athletes. Absolutely. Roy got that look in his eye. These guys are killing. <laughs> He got that look in his eye, boy, he's competitive, he's ready to rumble. And I think that he might be starting to form a mouse, salt the light, lightning rod might be starting to form a mouse under his left eye. There's our outcry of support. This sounds like a movie, don't it? This sounds like a movie. Ooh, this guy throws a main right hand. It's just focusing. Yes, he is. Ghana. Guy from Ghana. Right. He, he, might, he might have stole. He might have won this round. It's gonna be hard. If there's any round you, you give to the opponent, it may be this one. But you know what? Africans are known for their sprint. They can sprint across country for three yeah. days straight. Yeah, they've been winning the marathons, wins. right? So, yeah, so he could be picking up. Yeah. Whoa, did you see that combination from Laurier? Beautiful combination. It definitely looks like he's picking up pace. No pushing the head down. But he understands body language. His corner appears to be very, very laid back and calm, our African component tonight. Yes. And they're speaking in their native tongue. So you never know exactly what it is that they're yelling for him to do. Brother from Ghana is getting a nice payday. Today is co main event. Nice. Body combination from Salta. Look at he's looking to land the right hand. Ooh, that was a left that Laurier landed on Salka, but he walked right through it. Laurier was trying to set up that right hand. He was in a crotch style, was trying to yeah, yeah, uncoil right. that right hand. But uh, Salka was out of there. Yeah, he took a little bit too much time to spring off on the Salka looking good. Yes, More Italian Salka, hands up. Salka's hands are coming down, so there must have been some body shots that's making him guard his body. Salka's calculating, trying to figure out what his next move is going to be. Ooh, did you see that elbow? Laurier has a very sharp jab as well. His, almost every single one of his jabs are landing. He's a guy that uh, he's not not where you expect him to be uh, when you throw your shots. So you begin to miss badly. Nice body shot. Ten seconds left in round four. We're in round six. I think it went to eight rounds now because they, the belt was suspended. Okay. Either way, they're going a distance. Either way, people are getting their money's worth. This is great. Absolutely. Fight. And what's amazing is as Laurier continues to fight, his muscles continue to, to fill and swell, and you can see his veins puffing. It just goes to show you that he's a distance fighter. It's amazing. Get it, 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 Get it,
Laria is focused. Both of these fighters are focused in here tonight. This is what I love about boxing. This is when I can definitely put my heart on my sleeve for boxing. When I see fighters come in here. Well conditioned. Yes. Ready Serious. to fight. And they want to entertain as well as they want to come in there for that win. That's right. Referee had to literally do nothing this whole fight. These guys are just fighting. They ain't clinching, they ain't holding, they ain't hitting on the cup. Allow the cup, the cup cut in the cup. Their cup running over. Nice body shot. Nice body shot. Oh, Yori ain't comes right back. It's going to be another hard round of school. And what I like about Rod, he's coming in for the body and he's leaning in on his punches and he's coming down on it. You can see the power coming. Nice right by Lightning Rod. One thing you can't do with Yorie is faint. He don't go for the faints. Um, like you said, he's a focused, disciplined fighter. Absolutely. That right, I think Rod kind of felt that right. Laria just delivered, but he's, he walked through it. He throws a beautiful right. Yes, he does. Clean. Laria is a clean puncher. Boxer puncher. Look at that jab. Laria's jab is magnificent. Rod's defense is amazing. Yeah. He knows how to get out of there. It's going to be a tough one for the judges to score this round. Definitely. I get this round of both. So far. I'm Three, it's a practice squad. Not a clue. We also have a sponsor in here tonight, D1, the place for the athlete. You can go to d1pittsburgh.com, check that out, see what they're all about. Ooh, he just got robbed with a right hand. That right hand is very clean. In the back of the ear. Mm. That kind of affects that equilibrium. Yes. Just yeah, he walked right through. But they both appear to be walking right through. Just missed time. Yes, and it almost lets him wide open. If Laurier was more of a counter puncher on that one, he would have really had problems wide open. Oh, Look at these guys, Jim. They can probably go for another 10 rounds. Well, I think, uh, yeah, Rod's, Rod's winning oh, this round. But I think he's just so mad and fired up after uh, he, he almost slipped in the, in the, in the round two rounds ago when he almost slipped on the water. And I think that uh, it really got him his Amped blood up. boiling. Yeah. So he, just, he needs to just relax well, and go more, back. Well, more than that, you know, Laurie, he went in to capitalize on it. Mm -hmm. He yeah. saw that opportunity open up and he jumped on it. And he that was a very nice return. Rod came in with a right and, and Laurie counterpunched immediately with a wicked left. Rod's looking for blood right now. He's yes, fighting this fight, just uh, boxing and moving, sticking it a little bit. Nice right hand, nice right hand. But you can tell he wants blood. <laughs> Lightning Rod wants blood. Rod's still looking good. Yeah, this is definitely a crowd. More clean jabs from Laurier. The guy got an awful long reach. And he's, it looks like he has at least about two inches on Rod. And he is definitely utilizing, Laurier is definitely utilizing his reach. He stays in a just enough position to be able to come in on his punches. I'm telling you. Oh, I come back with a left hook as well. A double left hook on top of that. Ten, ten seconds left. And 
round seven. Who did you give that last round to? I got the uh, lightning rod soccer. I got it uh, five rounds to two soccer, dominating the fight. But you never know how the judges are seeing that Yuri is the uh, aggressor, um, constantly moving forward. But I think Salk is clearly winning the fight. Uh-oh. Oh, yeah. Laurier looks like he's positioning his pants. I think he's going to come in final round. He knows he needs his knockout. What do you think, Joe? Yeah. Yeah, he... Uh, he looks like he got an animal look in his eye. Yeah, he, he sure does. He's ready. He wants his knockout. He looks like he wants some blood. But you're not going to be able to hit Rod. Rod, Rod is a great boxer. Only if only you can. Only thing you can hope is he slip and you capitalize. <laughs> Look, there he goes. Yeah. Are right, pulling up them, them trunks again? Yeah, he sure. He wants his win. Nice right by Rod to the chin. I'm really impressed by Laurier's jab. He, he definitely keeps it going. He's, he's a good fighter. I would love to see him fight somebody other than Rod. Wow. Yes, he's stacking him up. Looking like he's about to go after a tiger. Yes. Excellent fight. Let's go. Aria, that body shot kind of hurt him. Rod coming in. You can't hit Lightning Rod with a handful of salt. He's too slick. This is a slick guy. In there. In and out. Got to be frustrating to fight a guy like Rod Salt. He's just too He's just too good, too smooth, too slick. Great combinations. I'd love to see Yorie again fight. I would love to see him fight again as well. Yeah, because this guy got a lot of skills. And you have to respect Salta for even bringing such stunning competition into this ring with him. Yeah, Yorie just couldn't show all his skills because Salka's just on a whole nother level. But, uh, you know, this guy got, this guy's a really good fighter. Lightning Rod doing his thing. Salka's feeling confident. I think he knows he has the fight. Wow. Yorie doing Long left hook. Soka blocked most of it, caught most of it on the shoulder. Lightning Rod smooth. He just smooth. <laughs> he could do. He could do. He could do 20 rounds of this. Ten seconds left in the eighth round. Oh! 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 There's no love lost. Oh, that was an entertaining fight. Yeah. I think that last round also went to Rod Judge Rogers scores the fight 77 75. Larry Aya. Judge Controllis scores the fight. 77 75 and the winner by split decision lightning rod i thought maybe the, the judges from pacquiao apparently was here i thought i thought lightning rod won uh six out of the eight rounds Mr. Laurier from Ghana. You know what, I think that um, if there's a better uh, featherweight, super featherweight, lightweight on the planet, I'd like to see it. I think Rod Salker can fight with anybody, 
anywhere, you know, on the planet. It's just a matter of time. This guy got world championship skills. Um, he took a fighter, Yari, and really um, shut him out. I uh, only got Yari two rounds, and this is a quality guy. So Rod Salka is definitely on his way. He got a great corner with uh, the Michael legendary Moore. Michael Moore. He got Buzzy in his corner. Um, he got some great people, Muscles, Healy. So, um, you know, he, he, he's a quality. Team Salka is on their way. Definitely. And you can definitely respect him for bringing such a wonderful fighter in there. To, to, to get in that ring and fight with him. Laurier definitely brought respect for Ghana. He came in there, he didn't hold back, he did give it everything he got. He's got a lot of heart, so you have to respect that. They're very, both very technical fighters, and even though they... We had a lot going on with this fight. I mean, we were in Vegas two weeks ago. I mean, we were still training hard, but it's like I felt it. I felt it uh, in there with my distance and stuff. This kid was tough to judge with the distance, and not to take nothing away from him. This kid is real smart, real smart in there. It, you weren't landing two, three shots on him. He was slick. He always moved. He knew where he wanted to counter. He was real. That was the smartest kid I ever fought. But I mean, it was a big step up for me to get fought for a world title. He's ranked in the top ten. I think we did real well with what we had coming into the fight with the preparation and everything. And I'm happy to get out of here with the W. You know what I mean? On him and get, and get twice as much into the gym with everybody. Like we, we were about half in the gym as we normally are. I started a new job. We got married. I'm promoting the show and I'm going back to school. You know what I mean? So we got to cut some of that down a little bit. If I'm going to keep doing this, we might have to hang it up. But you know what? It's always such a combination for you to be able to do all of these things and promote your fight and headline your own fight and come out the victor. Absolutely. And for you to choose a fighter who is definitely also coming in here to fight. We all, I, always, I always choose people that are coming to fight. That last kid we fought weighed 160, I weighed 138. And I mean, he was a 500 fighter, but he fought all stars. Like, people are paying good money. You know, to come out here, thirty, thirty-five dollars for a general ticket. They're working hard. That's, that's like three hours of work for someone just to come out and see me, and then they're you know, me bringing some with them. Uh, it would be cheating them if I didn't put on competitive fights. And, and with the ratch we got come up with Bergman and Vasquez, I don't have to worry. I know these guys can do it. I know they're tough and they're ready to fight, so we can make some great fights around here. I just hope Michael Moore gets his promoter's license here, so take one thing off my back for me, and he's gonna do it. So Michael Moore probably take over for me with a promotion, hopefully on the next show. So you'll see even even more dedicated and more focused. I was doing a lot of lazy things in there, leaning in, off balance a little bit sometimes, you know what I mean? And that's cut out, that's cut out. If I do that anymore, I'm done with it. If I can't fix that with this level of competition, at that level, I'll be getting myself hurt if I don't fix it. So we gotta fix it and get in or get out. One thing about you is you are always your biggest critic. You were all in there tonight. I didn't, I, didn't I didn't get hit with too much, but it was frustrating not being able to hit him with too much. I, th I landed the harder, cleaner punches. I landed the cleaner, harder shots when they counted. I got hit with his jab a lot because I got complacent and I was sitting right in front of him. But uh, we corrected that 6th, 7th, and 8th round. You know what I mean? And, and that's what's nice about fighting these longer fights. When you get in there with someone that's tricky, I got plenty of time. And I could have went to 12 rounds tonight even. You know what I mean? We're, we're good. I'm glad you guys came out. We're happy with every one from now on as long as you can make it. I love you. you guys are a huge help. I really appreciate it. I really appreciate it. Yeah, Taylor doing with Dark Horizon Studios. Man in a can tonight. We had a beautiful green card girl. We had Michael Moore, a legend in the house. He's right over here with his family. Smoking China. Nightmare Wise Talk of Promotion. We'll see you again soon. That's a serious stare down. Always technical.
Just so you know. Smoking just for Dickens. The yellow flag. A first round knockout. Back to Toledo. First round knockout. Lock out for two. I'm smoking Jim Frazier. Miss China Rock. Um, I'm ready to go. Lightning strikes and green trees. Let's, let's see. Let's see how it goes.